It wasn't until we surrendered and asked for help, became willing to trust in our higher power, that we began the journey to a new dimension. That same willingness to believe, to trust, to have real faith in something greater than ourselves, is successfully used to relinquish the last vestiges of control over our character defects. I can't. He can. I might as well let him. He can do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. A Fellowship of Freedom June 18th If only men were granted absolute liberty, and were compelled to obey no one, they would then voluntarily associate themselves in the common interest. As Bill sees it, page 50. When I no longer live under the dictates of another or of alcohol, I live in a new freedom. When I release the past and all the excess baggage I have carried for so very long, I come to know freedom. I have been introduced into a life and a fellowship of freedom. The steps are a recommended way of finding a new life. There are no commands or dictates in Alcoholics Anonymous. I am free to serve from desire rather than decree. There is an understanding that I will benefit from the growth of other members, and I take what I learn and bring it back to the group. The common welfare finds room to grow in the society of personal freedom. Tradition 2 says, For our group purpose there is but one ultimate authority a loving God as he may express himself in our group conscience. Our leaders are but trusted servants. They do not govern. Leaders serve. They are servants to the group. Alcoholics Anonymous is the only society where the basic idea of socialism has worked. It works because we have no leaders and no profit motive. We have no power over others other than to keep meetings orderly. Because our purpose is to stay sober and help others achieve sobriety, we benefit by giving away what was given to us, even to people we don't necessarily like. It is the circle of life. I stay sober by helping you get sober. If I don't give away what was given to me, I lose what I have received, and I will drink again. And for real alcoholics, to drink is to die. When we have been around for a while, we pray and meditate to stay close to our Creator, and we help the newcomer find his higher power and get sober. It isn't about us. It is about the next guy. It is about doing the next right thing in all our affairs. Our foundation is concrete. It is a higher power, and our sustenance is service. Elder statesmen don't take things personally. Bleeding diggins make it all about themselves when the group conscience doesn't go their way, and they grow resentments like in the old drinking days. The slippery slope for them is real. All of us need to stay grounded and humble, staying right-sized, knowing we are merely trusted servants with our common goal to help the afflicted. We have found the freedom that had eluded us for so long. We don't want to lose it after living it for so many years. We have a daily reprieve from our selfishness that, if exercised, will lead us back to alcoholic thinking, which will get us drunk. But our reprieve is contingent on our spiritual condition. Simple, not easy. To pray and meditate, to ask for help and to remember we do not have the power, and that he does and he will use it in our best interests. We don't have to follow the rules laid out in the first 164 pages. But when we do, we are blessed with sobriety, peace, and serenity. Our will aligned with our higher power's will works where self-will and self-knowledge has failed us. It is our choice to be free from the alcoholic obsession by picking up the set of spiritual principles. A Fellowship of Freedom June 18th 
If only men were granted absolute liberty and were compelled to obey no one, they would then voluntarily associate themselves in the common interest. As Bill sees it, page 50, when I no longer live under the dictates of another or of alcohol, I live in a new freedom. When I release the past and all the excess baggage I have carried for so very long, I come to know freedom. I have been introduced into a life and a fellowship of freedom. The steps are a recommended way of finding a new life. There are no commands or dictates in Alcoholics Anonymous. I am free to serve from desire rather than decree. There is an understanding that I will benefit from the growth of other members, and I take what I learn and bring it back to the group. The common welfare finds room to grow in the society of personal freedom. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.